Peace everybody, this is DJ Radon and we finally got it. We're finally here, we got the PMOS 100 app right here, all right? And we're gonna show you uh, how it works today, all right? So first we're gonna start out just going by through like just the general features before we drop a beat. Got Super Duck Breaks loaded up, you know, classic. Um, but this is just loaded up on YouTube. But in the future we'll have loop loopers inside of this app. But this app is just a classical scratch tool that's got odd and fresh and two banks. So like, I'll hit this for example. Oops. You see that forward cut? All right, push. Now I'm gonna change the uh, themes. You can change the themes in this. I'm gonna change the theme to, uh, to light and get the classical uh, TTM kind of look uh, with the white, white background. All right, so you can see that, all right? All right, so yeah, let's go to these other features. So yeah, so it's got the theme, you can change from uh, dark to night, right? From light to dark, I mean, or day to night, all right? And then uh, it's got the uh, bank A and bank B. So bank A is basically all 100 different uh, uh, permutations of the fresh sound. So bank A is fresh, right? So I'm gonna hit this, right? You see fresh, that's a shorter fresh, but this one is gonna be a longer one. Let's see. Yeah, you see that one's longer, right? You got a flare, right? So all, all, the, all the, the modular cuts in here um, can be pieced together to pretty much create a lot of different patterns, right? Right, so that's like a, a two click M flare. All right, so I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit. All right, let's do a regular M flare. And let's do a Joe Cooley. All right, let's do a three click. All right, so yeah, it's got all these different scratches load up, loaded up and you can actually change the speed of these scratches. So right now we're at 100 beats per minute, but I'm gonna go a little bit faster. And you see how it keeps the uh, that one, the last scratch loaded up in the queue, which is a really cool feature. Um, so I can speed it up. Now this beta is an older beta. Uh, the newest one has one more decimal place, and we'll we'll show that in the Mac version. But this uh, particular Android version, the decimal is only one decimal place. But the Mac version has got two decimal places, so you can get any beat per minute in there. So th this this thing starts out at a hundred beats per minute. So it starts at 100 beats per minute. Um, all the all the samples as by default are 100 beats per minute. So when you have it on 1.0, everything is synced up, right? And that's normal speed. So when you go to here, it becomes 110 beats per minute, 120 beats per minute. All right, so this is a, a three-click flare or three-click orbit, right? You can go 140 beats per minute. But the uh, when I show you the Mac version, you'll see that there's now there's two decimal places on it. We added that. And uh, so you can go, you can get more detail. So right now you can only go 150 beats per minute, but on uh, the newest uh, update, you can go, you know, 151, 152. There's an extra decimal place. So you can even go, go 170 beats per minute. And there's no limit to this. This thing can keep going. And then it can go the other way too. And then you can also type it in. You can also type in the number that you want. So if I go like this, let's see, I'm gonna type in, let me move this duck brakes thing. So I'm gonna type in, let's see. So that's 2.0, that's double speed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go way, way slower. But yeah, you can type in numbers too. Like you see what I was doing. And notice that it's pitch locking. This is, these are all, all the speeds are pitch locked. You know, in the future we'll we'll add a, a feature where it's not pitch lock, so you can have both. You know, pitch lock and non pitch lock. But right now it's just pitch lock. Uh, the speed changes, right? So we can keep that that normal pitch, right? But yeah, you can see it can go real slow. But as you get more and more slower or more and more faster, you know, it's going to start getting more grainy. Right, so you can see it's getting more grainy. But I'm gonna speed it back up. Let's go back to 1.0. All right, so we're gonna go back to 1.0. Now, 
Now, this thing also has a feature on here. Uh, let's go to the go, let's go to the Joe Cooley scratch. Let's go to the Joe Cooley right there. See, that's the Joe Cooley scratch, All right? You see, so that's the Joe, Joe Cooley scratch. Very popular scratch for electro cutting, right? And so now we're gonna change, let's change the theme to dark. But now I'm gonna, let's, let's say, let's take this up to electro speed. So 130 beats per minute, right? And I'll, I'm gonna let it play, see, look. See, so it's like some electro. So if you're a producer, you could drop, you could be like, hey, I want some Joe Cooley's on my, 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 my track. You can either drop these live on the fly or you could actually just, um, you know, piece these together. Like you could just record the scratches that you want and then drag them to wherever you want if you're a producer, right? And if you're just wishing to learn scratches, this is a, a great tool that um, prov provides you with a hundred different cuts so you can just learn what they sound like. Like, okay, that's what, and you can, and if you already know what they sound like, but you want to know what they look like, this helps as well. But most people, you know, generally can only do a handful of cuts, like maybe four to nine cuts, you know, at the most. Uh, even some of the best DJs in the world pretty much have less than five cuts at their disposal. When they, then when you get to people like Hubert that have, you know, millions of faderless cuts and all just different types of tricks he can pull out of his hat. There's only about five of us in this in the world that can do a hundred cuts. So it's like me, Qbert, you know, only a couple other people. Um, D Styles, you know, D Styles is very sick. Now, uh, it's also important to know too, uh, in 19, I'm sorry, in 2000 at ScratchCon 2000, I won the DJ Kubert Scratch, uh, Master Scholarship. So, cause somebody asked me, uh, where, where were these scratches recorded from? These were all recorded by me. It, it took, uh, it was weeks and weeks of recordings. Um, you know, each scratch, I probably recorded it for like maybe, uh, you know, a, a couple of minutes doing each scratch on a brand new vinyl from the 90s, a, a dirt style vinyl, actually. So this is on fresh taken from a dirt style vinyl. And, uh, you know, and we went through each one and found the best, uh, the one that represents the, 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 the TTM notation the best and sounds the best. And um, we mastered these. Uh, they're not compressed, but they're mastered. They're cleaned up. Um, so there's no like, you know, line ground sound. So all these were uh, recorded line input as well. All right, so we're gonna go to uh, bank uh, B and that's gonna be A. Ah. See? Right? And then if I wanna hear A ah as a flare, right? It's A ah as a flare. If I wanna hear fresh as a flare, Right. So, yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's got these features now. So right here, you see, I got the super duck in the background. I'm going to drop that in a second. Um, you can have, you know, other apps playing, you know, you can have YouTube going on and have a beat. Um, in the future, we'll add a loopers. We'll add some um, loopers to these devices, but not yet, you know, because what's going to happen is we'll probably release some separate loopers and then we're going to have another version of this where the loopers are included in it. All right, so let's let's move on to the next uh, part. So yeah, we got uh, different banks of sounds. Bank A is fresh. Bank B is uh, ah, the classic ah. So this is a classical scratch tool. Now let's go to the loop tool. I'm gonna slow the speed down again. Let me go down. But let me show you how to um, that you can actually use the um, this thing, right? So you can go like that. I could I could say I'm gonna make this 0.9. Right, so now you see it's 0.9. All right, but I'm gonna put it back on 0.1. All right, so yeah, you can use your uh, input. Now we're, we're working on adding the functionality of the keystroke, so you'll be able to... Uh... All right, we got disconnected when I was talking about um, the keystrokes. But uh, yeah, so as far as keystrokes, we're gonna be adding keystroke functionality uh, for the future. So let's get to the loop functionality. So look, you can turn the loop function on and off, All right? So we got the loop on right now. Let's turn the loop on. All right, so we got the loop functionality on. Now, um, now let's look at these. So let's just do the Joe Cooley, for instance. I'm gonna play that. I'll, I'll raise the volume. You see? So you can just loop these. Now, 
So this is just the basic arpeggiator kind of uh, arp uh, loop mode. But, you know, we're going to make this more extensive in the future where, you know, you can change the uh, periodic, peri uh, periodic nature of the loops. The um, You can change the uh, how far the loop is. All right, boom. So that was the loop function. You know, like if you do it on a faster cut like this, it kind of sounds like a, like a uh, synthesizer. Right, it sound, kind of sounds like a uh, like a video game uh, uh, synthesizer, right? Sounds like almost like Galaga or something, like right. So now, if I were to speed that up, let's say I sped that up to like super fast and did the same thing in the loop version, you can get more abstract. Right. So you can you can do it. There's a lot of uh, things you can do with this. Right, so this was uh, designed as like a classical scratch tool. You know, that's why this first version is uh, on fresh, but you know, other versions will have different sounds. Uh, we're gonna drop a, a drum scratch version of this as well. Also like with like an Amin, uh, Amin drums are gonna be in one of the banks. But uh, yeah, so now this thing has a lot, a lot of different features um, as far as speed. Um, we just saw that and we just saw the loop um now and we just saw the themes all right so let's actually uh get something playing so you could have something going on in the background all right um or we're gonna go on to the the mac desktop version uh next so right now we just have the uh this android version beta available and we've got the mac os version available so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh uh turn loop off all right now, all right, so let's let's uh, play some music. Let's play some Super Duck Breaks. Let's see, why is it not playing? All right, so I sped it up to, I sped it up to 100 beats per minute, Super Duck Breaks. All right, so remember all these scratches, I'm gonna stop it. So remember all these scratches are set at 100 beats per minute as a default and then when you change the speed you can either slow it down or speed it up right so i'm going to play this again you see all right so you know you can also what you can also do with this as well is you can actually, uh, you know, run this through a mixer or run this through a, uh, like a little, you know, like a Raiden fader or a Frisk fader, and you can actually cut up um, these things. So that's why I didn't add crabs in here. If any of you are wondering why there's no crab scratching here, uh, it's because you can crab yourself with the crossfader. Um, and, um, so, like, for instance, I'm going to show this one has some twiddles in it. Let's see. All right. You see that? Now, um, let's, let's play this. That's a scratch most people in the world can't do. So, um, a, another reason why I made this instrument is that, um, you know, sometimes it takes, you know, years and years, even a decade of practice, half a decade of practice to be able to do all these scratches. And, you know, just like with synthesizers and things like that, you know, we use technology to help us. So, you know, this can help producers. This can help um, people that are trying to learn scratches. This can also help people that um, uh, maybe can't afford to get a turntablist to come through and they're a producer and they just want to, you know, Get, get the cuts on there so a producer could be an ac actual producer player who's who's actually firing all the sounds and triggering them or you could just you know arrange it in your um in your song or whatever like i have a homie who's asking me to put some cuts in the songs and uh he hadn't gotten back to me yet uh he wants to put cuts in his whole album shout out to uh, uh cerebral vortex aka shaman cassette but and i sent him this um the link of this showing that you know with if they just cop this for 40 bucks uh they can do it themselves you know what i'm saying so this is like a, a robot dj friend that can do 100 different scratches right yeah and that's that's pretty much it 
Um, so let me play this a little bit more. I'll just drop some cuts over it. See how that one's longer? through some of these sounds real quick so let's listen to some of these because i'm sure y'all want to hear what they sound like this delete scratch by dj trouble right that's the delete so shout out to dj trouble for inventing that right and then we got like you know the chirp flare is popular right chirp flare is popular flare is popular dj flare Whoops. Right, so DJ Flair. Right. And um, I feel like, let's see, let's go over here. We got some slices. Let's go to the Chirp. Jazzy Jeff's classic Chirp. Shout out to Jazzy Jeff. Right, so you got the regular Chirp in there. And then you also got the, uh, I remember this is just a beta test. Let me get this out of the way. Let me close this window. So remember, this is just a beta test, but um, so yo, check this out. So we got this chirp right here. That's, we just did the regular chirp, but this is a triplet um, chirp combo. Like, da -da 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 -da. let's see. Yep, there we go. So it's making six sounds. Da -da 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 -da. Right. All right. So yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it on this uh, PC version, this Android version. Uh, so this is, you know, we've got the beta test ones available. So if you want to cop these, it's basically uh, 40 USD to, to get these beta test versions, you know, and then once the final version comes out, you'll get that. We'll send you both. All right. So yeah, it's got, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of capabilities with this. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then, you know, we can go to Ah. Let's go to the Ah bank. Right, and let's see this if I go like, see that? Right, so there's there's mad scratches in here. Right. And uh, one I like a lot is this little transform up here, like these little fast ones that, uh, shout out to, uh, you know, all the uh, kind of, um, you know, people using these kind of like real quick transform styles like that. You see that? So it has the, the forward and reverse of, of a lot of these different techniques. Not all of them. Like you see that there's a delete scratch here, but there's no reverse of the delete scratch. But uh, yeah, you can do that in the studio if you want or something. Um, yep. So let's move on to the Mac version. All right. Boom, so we just tested the Android version. Now we're gonna do the Mac version. This is the Mac I um sorry, the Mac desktop version right here. Um, you know, and when you install these uh the, the software, the app, um on the Android version, I forgot to say when you install it, you know, it's just a basic installer, but you have to turn off uh you have to turn on third party installations in your settings on your mobile PC device on your Android. And the same thing with the Mac. With the Mac desktop, you're going to have to go into your settings and turn off and go into your security and privacy settings and turn off uh turn on third-party installation, you know, cuz it cuz by default they have a block on that. But with the iPhone version, that's only going to be available on the Mac store since they don't allow third-party installation. And then uh the desktop version will be coming soon. Uh the PC desktop version will be coming soon. 
but it's going to function pretty much the same as this, you know, so, and we're just still, you know, working out a few bugs, but this is the, the beta test. And once again, if you want to join the beta test club, that's $40 uh, for the pre-order. Uh, once the pre-order time is over and, um, and the, and we're done with the betas, it'll be 50 bucks. So if you want to get the beta version, you can, uh, pay 40 bucks. Now you can take PayPal, cash app, Venmo. So it's basically paypal.me, uh, slash TTM Academy, uh, dollar sign TTM Academy for cash app and at TTM Academy for Venmo. All right, so once you uh, uh, join the beta um, tester club, then we'll start sending you these betas, and then uh, you'll get the final version when it comes out. All right, so let's just go through this. You know, same same idea, same thing as the last one. Uh, we're actually going to shift this to a, a you know a back to ten by ten a ten by ten grid. Now it's like fifteen by seven. Uh, there's actually this version there's actually one little scratch missing this has 99 there should be a hundred but uh waiting for the dev team to update that is just a little error in there it's probably some little you know one little piece of code that got screwed up or something um because it'll render a whole section you know uh useless if there's not like a you know the proper apostrophes and stuff like that for the coders out there so yeah so let's look at this mac version so i'm gonna hit one of my favorite scratches like i did in the last time dj trouble scratch the delete scratch see you see so those are some just different cuts Right, so these are exponential cuts, reverse exponential cuts, right? All right, you see that? So there's a lot, a lot of cuts in here. And here you can see a, a OG flare. A prism is basically like an OG flare, and then it's kind of reflected uh, along the vertical axis. All right, so let's let's loop that. All right. All right, and remember these were also recorded. This is recorded from real vinyl. We didn't record it from DVS or from like a CDJ because we wanted the real sound. There's, there's no point in making a um, you know a classical scratch sampler and you don't have the real sound, right? But this has never been done before. You've never had all of these uh, cuts in the same plate, and you've never heard all these cuts in one song before because most people can't even do all these cuts. You know what I'm saying? Like most people can do a handful or. 10 of them, but you know, most people can't do all of these, you know. Um, but yeah, let's, let's play some of these cool ones over here, some of these tears. Let me see. And then we got some tangents where you put the click in between each uh, pause of the tear. All right, so like. All right, so there's just, there's so many. So let's do these lasers. For the and for those of the math heads out there, this is all calculus. Anytime you're cutting up waves and and you know you have a wave where you know everything is playing, but there's one point that's cut out. That's what calculus is. Where like let's say you have a chirp, and you know um, if it was just a big giant parabola like that, if it was a big parabola and it kept going forever, that would be you know like um, trigonometry and whatnot. And just regular functions and regular, you know, just regular equations, regular algebra. But when you get into calculus, is when you're cutting up waves, and that's what scratching is. Scratching is calculus, right? So you can see that this scratch that I just played here, this reverse laser, this is impossible to do. Uh, we made it more of like a synthesizer kind of laser, where you know the person is doing the throw, where they throw the record and it's going exponential, and then they throw the record the opposite direction reverse exponential but right here in reality there would be a smooth curve on the top it would be uh differentiable 
but uh, for those that know about derivatives and calculus, but here the it's more like a um, the top isn't smooth. You see how it's like a very sharp uh, change of direction, right? So that means it's not dif differentiable. All right, so so it's this can't be done by a human. Um, it would be a little bit smoother on the top if it was done by a human. So I, I made it sharp. You know, I, I made it so that all these scratches represent what's actually in the pictures. Right? And let's do the most popular uh, three click that people, I mean, two click that people do. All right, let's turn this black. Let's change the theme. So this is way much more easier. Uh, maybe I'll play this one first, you know, play the uh, the Mac version before I get into Android, but maybe not. Uh, but yeah, so let's see. All right, so here's what I was talking about before where in the last, uh, we were testing the, the beta of that Android version and it didn't have two decimal places. This one has two decimal places, so you can go 102 beats per minute. Remember, it starts, all these cuts start at 100 beats per minute. All right, and then you can, you can uh, speed it up. You know, so I can be like, oh, it's 111 beats per minute right now. Or 112, let's see. Right? So, you know, there's a whole arsenal in here. That's how I designed this. This is like a, uh, you know, this is basically like a, a magazine full of, uh, of different uh, scratch, uh, you know, arsenal, <laughs> scratch shells, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, that's, let me go to this crescent flare, you know, DJ q -Bird invented this one, the crescent flare, and it sounds very similar to transforming, you know, because when you have a lot of clicks in there, you see that only the beginning and the end are open fader, but, you know, um, in the middle, it's basically just kind of transforming almost, you know, but it's, you know, actually changing direction. You know, we got, we got, uh, let me add some tears in here. Let's see. So even, you know, very, very uh, minute details in turntablism are, are added in here where not only is it just a stab or a drag, you know, we have exponential ones, we got logarithmic ones. So you can see this is a logarithmic drag where it's like a power down, right? But this one is more like a whoop. It's, it's a, a exponential drag like that, you see? All right, so yeah, let's go through some of these, uh, these uh, let's go through some of these features in the Mac version, right? So we saw the, the theme, the dark theme, light theme, right? This is the classical uh, TTM look, right? This is the inverted look. All right, so you got bank A, which is fresh once again, and bank B, which is ah. Uh. Right, let's go to bank A. All right, so it's fresh. Now I'm gonna loop these. So I'm gonna turn loop on. All right, kind of look at the Moroccan flag for a second. Let's see, so I got 120 beats per minute, 20, 121 beats per minute, all right? And I can, uh, let me see, let me turn these Joe Coolies on like I was doing. All right, so yeah, you can have it on loop, right? But these these quick ones sound really cool. Well, there's probably a shorter one that sounds even better. Let me see, something like this maybe. Oh, no, there's probably something cool. Let's see. Right, so you can uh, you can adjust them and make them loop. You know, you can do a lot of different types of things, right? And we're gonna expand all these sections in the future arpeggiators and all these other sections. Uh, but yeah, this is the basic thing. It's a it's basically just a scratch sampler. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, if you're a turntablist, you can use this to study and be able to master these things and use this for practice. Like, oh, how do I do this cut? I don't know how to do the delete scratch. I can hear how it sounds. Let's see. Oh, oh, I'm in the wrong mode. See, if you're in the loop mode and you click on it, you're not going to hear the sound. It's gonna, You got to hold it, right, to be in loop mode. But I'm going to turn loop mode off. That's why I didn't hear it. So let's see this delete scratch. 
And shout out to Eddie Mariano from uh, Scratch Rinshu because he had that problem. He's one of the um, one of our beta testers. He 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 uh, got one of these pre-orders, and y'all can get pre-orders right now. You know what I'm saying? Join the club. Uh, but uh, so but later this week we're gonna have uh, uh, more videos where we really start uh, testing it out over over beats and stuff like that, and uh, and really start freaking it. But I was just showing you basically how these uh, these components basically work, All right? And uh, so this is one of my favorites like I was playing before, this triplet. But you see, you can go real fast with all this stuff. So like, let's say we got this one, All right? You see, so what, what speed are we at? We're at 121 beats per minute, All right? So if you know you got like a, if you got like a jungle beat, Let's say it's at 165. Let's see, I could type 165. And you can do it out of Jungle Beat. So I could be like, right? So I could be doing Joe Coolies over some, some jungle. All right? So you can speed these up. And then you can also slow it down too. You can make it real slow. Like, let's say, let's see, uh, point or let's. Let's type. Take a, let's make this super fast. Let's type f five in here. This is five hundred sixty-five beats per minute. All right. So let's see. You won't even hear it, All right? But this these ones will be fast. Let's see. All right. This might sound interesting. All right. So it just sounds like garble when you go super fast. But if you take it on the other end and you go super slow, I'm gonna uh, do that. Make this a zero. See, it has that you know grainy kind of sound to it. I'm gonna do 50, uh, 50 percent. So this is half speed, right? And like I was saying before, in future versions, we'll we'll have the option to uh, you know not have the um, pitch lock on it. But right now it's got pitch lock. Everything's pitch lock. So you can see. So when you get suit, when you start to go super super slow, it starts to get more grainy. All right, now uh, let's let's uh, look at this. Let's go back to the top. All right, and uh, let's see. So yeah, we already went to the banks with the loop. All right, let me flip this thing back, and uh, yeah, we're we're pretty much done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do 1.0. I'm gonna do like that. Let's say I'm gonna type one. I'm gonna type 1.0. There we go, 1.0, you know, and uh, yeah, we're back to uh, 100 beats per minute. So all these uh, start at 100 beats per minute. You know, you can use this if you're a turntablist looking to learn. You can use this as a turntablist if you w if you want to like jam with your homies. You know, we're actually going to have some battles too where people can battle with this, um, and we'll have uh, PM um, PMOS 100 um, scratch battles, right? Um, so, you know, you can learn from this, but then if you're a producer, like I was saying before, you can use this to um, piece together stuff. You know, you can just bring in the sounds, the, the scratches that you want, and then you can loop them and arrange them however you want, or you can trigger them live, you know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is, uh, this is it. This is P PMOS 100. Let's hear this one. It sounds cool. You hear D Styles doing a lot of stuff like this. A lot of people don't do a lot of tangent type of stuff. All right? So that, those, that's that. All right. So I'll catch y'all later. All right. Peace. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I forgot too. When when you bring in the Mac version, uh, you just got to drag it into your applications. Once the DMG opens up, you can just drag it in. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to... Uh, there's no like big installer or anything like that. It's just a regular DMG, uh, which is an image file, and you just drag it in from that image file. All right, and that's it. And I'm gonna close it out. You can see what it looks like. Oh, let me see when I put this uh, full screen. See what happens. Bada boom. All right. This scratch right here, number 99, is uh, when I invented. You know, when I made the Matrix, I tried not to, you know, 
just create a whole bunch of new scratch names. I try to use all the names were out, that were out unless it was something that, you know, was a hybrid of something where I could put two scratch names together or, you know, it was something that somebody invented. So like the Wah scratch, I invented this in uh, like late 90s, 99, 98 or something. And I showed it to Qbert on film in 2000 at Virgin Megastore. So you hear me do that a lot, but you never hear anybody do this. Right, so that's one of my uh, signature cuts. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. I wanted to add when I was talking about turntablists doing uh, electro uh, minimal transform styles that are sick. I was talking about Oslo Flow, so shout out to Oslo Flow, you know, and that whole collective. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go through uh, the uh, our Instagram just to show a little quick history of how we got to this point, as far as uh, the different stages of the uh, of the app. So I'm gonna go way back to, to when I first posted it. All right, cool, we're at the top. So the first, uh, when I first unveiled a little bit of it, of one of the first betas, this is how it was looking. You can see the, uh, the interface was a little bit different. I'm gonna pull it up. So this interface right here was totally different, right? We just had the night mode and stuff at the top. We didn't have the hamburger menu yet, all right? Now we got the hamburger menu. All right, so I'm going to go to the next one. This was the next evolution right here. And shout out to the whole dev team because they're killing it. Um, yeah, so this was like the next iteration of it. You can see like this right here. This was when we only had four options for speed, but now there's like, you know, hundreds of speed options, right? Let's see. All right, and now we're going to fast forward so you can see how the interface has changed just over even in the past two months so you know this, this program is going to be constantly evolving um, shout out to MK Scratch he was one of the first people to uh, get one of the pre-orders so he's beta testing his and also you know shout out to Eddie Mariano like I was saying again Scratch Rinse Shoe TV um, and this is where we are now this is the actual device right here all right and we already went through all these options and all that type of stuff. All right. But yeah, shout out to all the early supporters. Also, shout out to Krim. Krim is also an early supporter. So yeah, shout out to Krim. Uh, shout out to Prolific uh, DJ School. They they just got a, got a copy of the program. So yeah, everybody's uh, it, it starting to support. And shout out to all the Matrix supporters from the past. All right. So yeah, that's it. Peace. Peace, y'all.